Howdy y'all and welcome to another tour and review video with the Butcher Man. This here is called Campaign Zelmathian version 1. Welcome to the Zelma land, an imaginary region invented by me, Zelma Mahdi. There is the chop straw, the water mod, the map bible object, which seems to all be in the file when you download it, so don't worry too much. In this map you can in this map you can found the necessary to play. You can consult them screenshot provided with the map to learn more. Sorry my English is not very good. That's alright, buddy. You, you made a map, that's all we what's all we care about. Thank you for downloading. Contact me on my Facebook page from my YouTube channel or my YouTube channel for reporting my me bugs and various improvements to be made. I greatly thank Gold Fox for its buildings. Let's jump into it and check out what we got here. Uh, looks like mod portable map bio objects. Everybody already knows what that says. If not, just pause the video and go back and check her out. Looks like we're super fast for some reason. Super fast. We're going to, have to open this gate because we might need it. I don't know. I was looking around a little bit ago and I don't know what this is all about. There's a door up there. And if you jump, you can actually open the door. But you can't actually get up there. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe the ladder is supposed to have collisions on it. So you can actually walk up there. It would be kind of neat if you get up there. If it was like a hayloft or something. That would be cool wouldn't it? Alright let's look in here a little bit. Um, I think this is the cows. I think it's where the cows are supposed to be. Because I think the cows are out there. Because you see the little milking station or whatever. Um, so this is where your cows are. From the looks of it. I guess I could buy a couple of cows and we could check it out. Let's buy a couple. Just to be sure. Bye, bye. And of course my... Yeah, see your cows are out there. You'll have to ignore me getting up in the air. And you got storage. What is this? this vehicle storage as well? Ooh, you got a good amount. Of, like fancy vehicle storage as well. Is there only one door in there? Oh, there's two doors in there. Okay. Let's see, is this storage? Is this vehicle storage? This is a vehicle storage. You got your plow in here and everything. Is there anything out the back? Uh, you got drive through storage. That's pretty neat. What is this? Uh, is that where you dump your grains, maybe? I don't, maybe? I don't know. It kind of looks like, what was that? Why is there a... Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat, isn't it? You can, like, open that little door and look in there. I guess to maybe watch it fall or something. That's kind of neat. Good job, author. That's that's pretty neat. It looks like your chickens are just going to be right out here. Uh, let's look in here real quick. What do you got in the garage? We got a Hurleyman. We got a Leechfar. We got another Hurleyman. That's, that's not very common. Uh, Sampo Rose and Lou. One trailer. Cultivator, plow, cedar, weights, weights, and a couple of cows I bought. Don't forget that. I, it didn't come with that. <sighs> Let's jump in here. I'll sell my combine like I always do. We'll jump out here, buy our truck. And then jump over the truck to see where it spawns. It looks like the combine was probably sitting right there, um, ready to do that field. Alright, so this here is your store, then. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, let's see. So that's direct selling. Looks like you come out of that alright. I always test these, because sometimes you come out in bad places. Like inside of a building that you can't get out of. Which, I don't, you never know, that might just be me. It might just be me, I don't know. Um... We'll just go ahead and whoop, jump around here and we'll get back in our truck. Alright, um, let's see. Let's reset real quick and see where it resets at. Let's, where's the that? There it is. Let's reset that and then we will choose that. Alright, well good, it resets back in your farm. So that's, that is always a bonus. I think I just did a video a little bit ago that I didn't actually sit and test the reset. I always try to test the reset because it's always it's always good to know 
Um, that's not something it tells you in the map, map description. And I don't know which side of the road we want to drive on because there's no traffic that I can see. Um, what was that? Okay, I think that just leads to the back of the farm. You can see the like the uh, Hurleyman sitting back there. We've seen it earlier, sitting behind that grain bin. A fancy little grain bin you could open up and look into. Let's go down here. It looks like there's a sell point. McPatate? McPatate? Maybe that's where you sell potatoes? How much we got here? We got one, two, three, four. Alright, so that is this is where you sell potatoes, McPatate. Uh, Stockage Ferme. Stockage Ferme 2. FS Alliance. It looks like... He's got some variable, like these are the same pricing, but this and this one's different. So, I mean, that's something you'll have to pay attention to when you're selling stuff. You don't want to sell it for a bad price. What do we got here? 2180. It's always the right way. Can I get around the building? Yep. Let's head on out then. Go check out something else. We want to get around the farm in a reasonable amount of time. Looks like a grass field over there, and a hay field or something on the other side of it. Not a hay field, a, uh, like a wheat or something field. A grain field. Call it a grain field, I guess. Where did that road go? I haven't driven around this farm at all. I got in long enough to figure out that you could open that door in the loft, and that was it. If you guys rather, if you guys enjoy my tour and review videos, then go ahead and give me some, give me some love on that like button, man. You know, plow that like button with your fist. What do we got here? Um, looks like this is where you, this is where you'd buy your saplings, I think. Let's just check it out. Yep, saplings. And it kind of puts you back a little bit, but that's okay. I don't know how that works, the programming for like when you hit that trigger and then you come out of it. Because, like, you know, sometimes, like earlier, it puts you inside the building. This looks like it is FS Alliance, it looks like. FS Alliance 2180. 2180 pounds. What would this here be then? There's no symbol for it. Puma? This is. Looks just like something you can use for vehicle storage, I guess. I don't really know. Vehicle storage, maybe you'd have to rent it. Pay a little bit of cash to the guy. Um, it looks like this dead end, so let's run down here. Well, maybe it doesn't. What is this about? What do we got here? $250,000. This is a farm of 1995. It have a full hall for animals, two hall for machines, and a grain storage. So you can actually buy the farm. Wow, that is that is super cool. Um, I think we're just going to do a bad and we're going to drive around this gate because it don't look like the bushes have collisions. That is super cool though. You can actually buy a farm. That That is cool, man. That is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen on, mar on on Farm Sim. Is that you can actually buy one of the farms. You can buy a farm. I've never seen that before. Looks like you got grain storage. Something you'd probably have to open on your own. Have to hit a trigger or something. It does look like you got some storage, like the advertisement said. It looks like you put cows in here, maybe. Oh, this farmer must have got a lot of awards for his cows. Look at all them. A whole bunch of ribber, ribbons and stickers and stuff. His cows must not get much for intelligence. Oh, it's a fake cow. Hello, fake cow. What is up with you? Look at that. He mooed at me. She must not She must not like me or something. Um, you got some storage. What is that storage for though? It kind of looks like straw. Straw. And then grass. And then... Nothing. Actually nothing there. 
Huh. Right on. Where's this little road go? Nowhere? I always like to try to explore everything if it looks like there's extra stuff, because you guys are watching this video to try to figure out if you like the farm even the slightest before you end up getting it, or before you download it or something like that, or maybe you're trying to find something and you can't find it and you hope I found it before. What was that? A little map bilateral object there as well. Is that a winch? You can buy tools to make to work to make workshop. Two hundred and fifty grand. I don't know, why would you, I don't know if you'd I don't know if I'd pay two hundred and fifty grand. Pre preview this object key B. What? So that's two hundred and fifty that's kind of it's kinda of weird, bro. 250 grand for that little bit of stuff. I don't know. You might have to adjust that. I don't know. I mean, unless you're just absolutely swimming in money. I don't know if somebody paid 250 grand for that little bit of tools. That's cool, though. That's really cool, though. You gotta give the mod author props for this. You know, being able to buy a farm. That's super exciting. Alright, so back there was where we turned out at. So we need to turn in here, I guess, and check it out. What is it, 2180? It is 2180. One of these times it's not going to be, and I'm going to be like, what in the world? Something must have happened. What is this? Oh, this is a dump and fill. That's pretty cool. What do we got back there? Nothing? Just pallets of seed and stuff, it looks like. So that's a that's a cell, cell point. Wait, is that FS Alliance? I thought FS Alliance is over there. Is there a sign? Oh, this is FS Alliance. What was that other thing then? I don't know. I thought that was FS Alliance. Let's see. We didn't come from this way, right? Um. Okay, that's the store. We've done been there. What in the world is this? This is just machinery storage and a couple of houses. Did those doors open? Let's check her out. They do open. You can you can just store machinery all over the place. Oh, I bet this is sheep though. What do you think? I bet this is sheep. This is sheep, I think. Buy a couple of sheep just to check it. I don't have enough money. Yep, there's a sheep. Hello, sheep. Ah, and the sheep even have a little pond. Oh, little sheep. You still gotta water them, though, I bet. That sheep is like walking through the grass. You can hear it. You can hear his pleasure. Good job, sheep. Anything this way? You could turn this direction. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of driving, you know, trying to figure stuff out. Is this the farm? This is the farm. Um, have we went down there? That's the farm, because it's got the dairy thingy, the milky thing there. That blue thing. And it's got our couple of cows out there in the field. Okay, so this is just the road in front of the farm, then. And that's FS Alliance. Okay, so we've been there, and we would have just made it back to the farm. It's looking cool, guys. It's looking cool, man. You can buy a farm. That, that is just neat. Um, if there's supposed to be a way to get up there, he needs to, he might need to work on that. Maybe we can, like, put the truck over there? I think we can do that. We can put the truck over there and just kind of, like, jump off the truck, maybe? I don't know. Or if we had the combine, we could probably just couple all of it together. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, you can walk through the hay bales, or the straw bales. This is cool, though. Can you imagine if you could actually put a couple straw bales up here, or something like this? I don't know. It's just cool being able to get up here. Just cool, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think I've showed you about everything I can think of. All the cell points, most of the map. Hope you got a good view of it. If you have any questions, I can always come on here and check it out. Uh, the guy said that you can contact him on Facebook. Uh, 
come to the Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Uh, so you'll be looking for Zelma Modding. Yeah, or X E L M A Modding. Okay. So you should be able to look him up, him or her, whichever one it is, and uh, contact them about their map and uh, let them know how they did. You know, download it if you think they did a great job. Jump on there and just tell them they did a did a great job and you know compliment them. I'm sure they'd like it. This guy's all ready to cultivate here, I think. But uh, it's been fun, guys. I hope you know. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, this is the butcher man saying, uh, "Y'all come back now." You hear? <laughs>